You might be thinking, how can a spider that jumps be anything but anxiety-inducing? Well, it turns out they're a lot less harmful than they seem. I mean, look at those eyes. That's a check mark for cuteness right there. They actually have four pairs of eyes with two larger middle ones. As you may guess, their eyesight is extremely good. And that's great for them because they need to be able to hunt their prey and pounce on them with remarkable skill. And it's not just their eyes that help in hunting. It's also their memory. This little spider with such a tiny brain can remember and execute its own plans. This is a very unique characteristic for such a small animal. Jumping spiders don't make webs to hunt, but instead they track their prey. You'll often notice a silk drag line coming from the spider, and this is used both for the accuracy of the jump, as well as a safety line in case the jump fails. A lot of jumping spiders seem to actively try to jump on you and look at you, and it might be because of their apparent curiosity, or maybe they're just attracted to our movements. Others seem to be quite shy. Spiders in general are very important players in ecosystems. Without them, imagine how many swarms of insects would be infesting our neighborhoods, especially during the summer. Most spiders are venomous, but they use this venom for their prey. Therefore, most spider venom is not harmful to humans. However, highly venomous spiders, such as the black widow and brown recluse, definitely can be harmful, and they should not be handled. Jumping spiders are far from that level of harm, though. In the event that one did bite you, which is very unlikely, it would not be severe unless you were allergic to their bite. Normally, their bite is just an itchy red spot, sort of similar to a mosquito bite. But to avoid spider bites, don't threaten them or put them physically under pressure. Spiders literally have no reason to bite a human unless you give them one. The males are known for their lovely little dances when courting females. They use arm waving, bright colors, vibrations in the ground, and other various methods to attract their female. And they also have a ton of persistence. Males will court a female at any chance they get. Even if she's not the same species, or even if she's not even alive. And they risk their lives every single time they dance for her. She's bigger and has a voracious appetite, and a male spider would be a great snack for her. So for males, it's a risk they're willing to take in such a competitive world. Lastly, how does that jumping spider jump when it doesn't have any special muscles in its legs? These little wonders can regulate the blood pressure to their legs, and with this increase in pressure, they can jump many times their body length. The capabilities given to such a small creature is truly amazing. When you see a jumping spider, remember to save, don't squash. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next peek at wildlife.